do like and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update. In this video, I'll show you how to draw site plan of a building in AutoCAD. So let's start. So this is a floor plan which I have already created and now I'll create site plan of this building. So before I start, I want to say something that some of my viewers are requesting to provide more floor plans, front elevations and sectional elevation of building. So in my next video, I'll provide a multi-story floor plan of this building. Also, I'll provide front elevation and sectional elevation. You can also go through the previous floor plans, front elevations and sectional elevations which is provided in description box. So now let's see how to draw site plan of this building. Okay. So now I'll create site plan of this building. So for site plan, we have to take all the necessary measurements and dimensions. So first of all, we have to draw the plot area. Okay. So first we need to draw the plot area. So this is the plot. This is the plot. Okay. So here this is 54 feet. This is 87 feet. This is also 87 feet and this is 54 feet. And here this is the road. This is 8 feet wide road in south side of the plot. And this is 8 feet wide road in north east side of the plot. Okay. And scale is 1 is to 8. And I'll create the site plan in 1 is to 20 scale. Okay. So first we need to draw the plot. So for that take line command L enter specify first point here. Now specify the length as 54 feet. Press enter. Again this is 87 feet. Press enter. Now this is 54 feet. Enter. Now close this with CL. Enter. Now this is the plot is created. Okay. Now mark all the dimensions. Go to linear. And here this is 54 feet. This is 87 feet. This is also 54 feet. And this is 87 feet. Okay. So next we need to draw the built up area. Okay. So what is built up area? Built up area means carpet area plus thickness of internal and external walls plus balcony or terrace etc. Okay. So I will provide another video about what is carpet area, what is built up area and what is super built up area. So first we have to draw built up area now. Okay. So for that we need to take a polyline. Okay. PL enter. Now specify first point here. Click here. Again this is click here and click here. Click here and close this here. Okay. So now copy this. Select copy to this plot. So select copy. This is the base point. Specify this as the base point and click here. Okay. So next I'll copy all the roads, septic tank and groundwater reaches shaft. Okay. So select all the roads. We need to copy all these features to that plot. Copy all the roads, copy the groundwater which is sat and copy the septic tank. Copy. Now this is the base point and click here. So this is done. So now mark all the dimensions. Move this to here. Okay.
so this is the ground water reserve sub this is the septic tank okay so now mark the dimensions go to linear mark here to here this is 11 feet this is 10 feet this is 13 feet and here this is 26 feet okay now I'll create the site plan in 1 is to 20 scale I have already told this so we have to reduce the plan 4 times 0 0.4 times sorry okay so for that we need to change the scale we need to reduce the plan 0 0.4 times okay so because we are making the site plan in 1 is to 20 scale our plan is 1 is to 8 so select now scale sc enter now specify base point here now specify the scale as 0 0.4 because we are reducing 0 0.4 times enter now this is done now okay now select now move text to this side okay also we need to do same thing here select move text to this side okay so now height uh, 10 inch again move this change the height 10 inch now move this to this side now this is visible okay so now copy the text so this is the built up area okay so this is built up area this is the built up area and square feet uh, 1500 square feet square feet area built up area is 1500 square feet let me check sorry 1550 1550 square feet not 1500 okay so this is the built up area now I'll hatch this So, let's enter circle key of hatch command. Now, make the scale as 80 at pick point and click enter. Okay. Now, hatch is done. Okay. So, now we need to mark all the dimensions as per this plan. Okay. We need to change all the dimensions. So, click here go to quick properties and we need to override the text so text override here this is 54 feet so this is 54 feet okay so this is done so next to this side is 87 feet so text override 87 feet next this side is also 87 feet so here type 87 feet next this is 54 feet here write 54 feet okay now this is done next we need to change this so first we need to measure this is 11 feet this is 10 feet this is 
तो टेन फिट एंड दिस इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स फिट ओके सो चेंज दिस सिलेक्ट एंड ओवर द टेक्स्ट दिस इज इलेवन फिट नेक्स्ट दिस इज टेन फिट टेन फिट Now this is twenty six feet. And here this is thirteen feet. Select text override thirteen feet. Okay. Move this to here. Okay. Delete all this. Now disable this. We don't need this. Okay. So Okay, now it's okay. This is eleven feet. So, this is the site plan. Okay, with one is to twenty scale. Okay, you can set your dimension. See. I have already set all the dimensions. Now check. Yeah, this is okay. Okay. So this is eleven feet. This is ten feet. This is thirteen feet, and this side twenty six feet. Okay. So all are okay. So this is the site plan with one is to twenty scale. So like this, you can prepare, you can create any site plan of any building. Okay. So hope you like this video. If you like this video then don't forget to like and subscribe the channel thank you for watching